Okay, so this one does not heat. We have, uh, it's kind of backed in a cubby hole. Basically, we're going to have to take the top off, check top off, the whole front off, and get back behind the heat element and check the heat element. Um, so, we have to pull it out of the cubby hole. We got my little handy dandy dolly and check the heat element and replace that if we need it. Okay, we got it out. We basically have to take the top off. And we can see <laughs> there are some actual wear marks on the inlet water hoses, which we'll have to sort of duct tape over. The hoses were rubbing against the side, so that's kind of a hazard there. Um, yeah, it's a tricky install here. It's definitely not the most ideal. Plus, we have the water heater right here. Okay, so we see the heat element's got a break right here. I could tie it, but since this thing is like real far back in a cubby hole, hard to deal with, I'm not going to tie it. I'm just going to replace it. I have a good used heat element. And this cowl is a little bit different than this cowl, so I'm going to have to take the heat element off and then put that heat element in this one. Take this one out and whatever, trash it. Um, Supposedly this has nickel in it. This is nickel and that is recyclable uh, But yeah So first thing you got to do is Take these tabs loose. There's some tabs that hold this thing in Take these tabs loose And then push the element through take it out and just swap the coils basically and re assemble in reverse order. Okay, it's always a good idea to clean all the lint out of the parts. Make sure your vents are clear. And uh, what I do is I put, I put silicone on this belt here just to keep it lube. Now this design here I don't particularly like because basically it's open. Yeah, it's open. It's open. It's open. It's sucking, sucking cold air right through there. Crazy. Uh, I have uh, put uh, metal tape over these on some models. I'll put metal tape over those because basically 
it's open, it's sucking air, it's sucking cold air right through there. And so anyway, yeah, we'll let's put this puppy together and watch it. Okay, got it all back together. This is tight squeeze here. Not a very good situation. We got a kink vent action thing, possibility, potential. Right down there. And real tight squeeze here on this poor thing was not very service person friendly okay it's in there ideally we'd want to rebuild this whole scenario and put a good vent in there because the vent the vent is almost 15 feet with with some 90 degree angles so uh, basically, she says basically the job is over at this point. We got it going. And so. You see the drums turning. Check the. I can smell the. I can smell the uh, heat. And I'll check the flow. So this flow, this flow is pretty good. I like these vents out here away from everything else. It's got a pretty good flow. I can smell the heat, so it looks good. <clears throat> okay. Yep. Nice and hot. Clean lint filter, clean down there, sort of. And we're ready to rock and roll. If this video helped you, you can support reuse and recycling worldwide by sending me a donation. Bill's Recycling Enterprises, PO Box 7021, Eureka, California 95502. If you need any help, I give phone advice for a fee. 707-443-8347. Pacific time, 925. Thanks for watching.